Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and today we have ourselves right here uh, F250. And the issue that we have with this F250 is that the rear lights aren't working. Um, customer, I'm pretty sure, tried to fix it up by changing out the fuses, but they kept on popping. So right now, what we're going to look at is we're going to see how we're going to find this. I believe is a short to ground, and we're going to go through the whole process. So here we go. So what I'm gonna use to actually find this short to ground, I'm gonna hook up my light, uh, my light tester. Gotta find the good ground. So we use this brake line right here, and just to verify that this is good ground, let's just touch one of these fuses. All right, so you can see good ground so we're gonna start off and we're gonna see which fuses are bad so as you can see I'm poking one side of the fuse and you want to have a light and then on the other side we do have light If you don't have light on either side, it's probably because the key's not on or, or the circuit's not working at the moment or is not energized. All right, so right now we have this 15 amp fuse that's not working. So we're gonna see what and what fuse that is and I'm pretty sure you can't see this but we're looking at is the number eight fuse and what I did do I got a wiring diagram ready for y'all to show y'all what number eight has so we have fuse number eight is a 15 amp fuse and it goes to the main light switch and the park lamp relay and if we look right here, we got the number eight fuse, 15 amps, and there's the main light, uh, main light switch, and it goes to the lights in the back. So now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna see. I want. If you want to make this a fast job, I would hook up a circuit breaker, just a 15 amp circuit breaker, and then start testing out from there. But uh, what we're going to try right now, we're going to see if we have any broken wires inside. We're going to try to look for this tan and white wire and go from there. So let's go inside and let's see if we can find anything. All right, so we're in here, and uh, as you can see, we're looking at the 8 amp fuse or the 15 amp fuse and it's the fuse number eight um, that goes into our main light switch and we have our main light switch right here so my my method on figuring this out I already found out the issue uh, what I was doing I found out which one was the tan and white that's right there and what I was doing, I was basically taking off each pin right here. And I should have used a, a circuit a circuit breaker, but I had a, plenty of fuses, and I got I have the whole pack. Uh, used up about three to find this short. So I was taking each one of them off, and and seeing if if the short would go away, and. What I found out is when I took off the brown one, we didn't have a short anymore. And when I put it back on, we had the short. So after that, I realized that the brown is the one that hooks up to all the lights in here. We're looking at the the rear lights, left toe lights, and so on. So what I was doing, I came over Try to see if there's any any 
damage down here. I know this is a rusted vehicle and it just looks like a big hell hole, but yeah. So what I did, I disconnected this rear light that would basically isolate, uh, take away all these uh, rear lights back here and the fuse would still pop. Remember, you, you can't really see electricity. And I know y'all have different methods. If you do have different methods, put a comment down low. But I'm gonna show you what I found. So after, after looking at that, I came to the front. And while looking at the front, look what I saw right here. A big hit. And guess what? There you go. So this wire was actually grounding out right there. If I take this off, we can see that that's the brown wire and that's copper touching. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay this aside right there. get a 15 amp fuse all right we got brand new fuses hooked up and we put our all our connectors back together made sure that we had them in the right order needed a wiring diagram for that so we're gonna hook this back up and see if we have lights now I can tell you right off the bat we probably we have a fix here because back then you can actually hear the fuses pop. All right, so let's look in the back. Okay, first of all, I gotta turn this on. Yeah, always remember, hook all your cables back. <laughs> Alright, it hooked up. And there you go. We got light. So there you go. If you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. So the repair is going to be, I'm going to bring this to the bottom side. And I'm just going to rewire it and see if I can move this up a little bit more or this bumper down. All right. Y'all have a nice day here from Oz Mechanics.